Is it on? Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. It's the Monday show. I'm here with Candy Lynn. What's going on? Not much. Just attending the Ducks game. <laughs> having a good time with Bob and Carl. Carl! Bob! Bob! Candy! I missed you, Bob! It's the Monday show. <laughs> Hey there! Still a little hoarse from uh, yelling at the game. It's the Monday show! We got a lot going on! First of all, russet mites. Y'all have been coming in, a lot of people have been telling me. It's the big news. A lot of people got russet mites. So, what I did, uh, Mariah LaChapelle, premier integrated pest management, dealing with pest person. She knows her stuff. So, I drove up to McMinnville to uh, talk to her, did a little interview with her. So, here's that. Hey there, Bob. Mariah LaChapelle, one of the foremost experts in integrated pest management. We got you here because people got russet mites. They're in trouble. What are they going to do? Well, if you're talking about an out outdoor production. Well, let's talk about that first, yeah. And you're getting towards harvest. Mm -hmm. The problem with hemp russet mites, which are the class of aerophyid mite, they're cigar shaped and small, hard to find, and sometimes that you don't discover them until they're in the glandular trichomes of the flowers. Uh -huh. Once they get in the glandular trichomes of the flowers, your THC production decreases uh -huh. and all your other phytochemicals too, CBD, and your yield declines and the, the plant health declines. So you're very limited in terms of options that are viable, uh -huh. but it needs to be addressed and there's a product called PFR 97, uh -huh. which is a fungal spore. Uh -huh. Isaria is the is the uh, organism, and you can spray that on the plant in the morning or the evening okay. when the relative humidity is the highest. Okay. And that can cause if the fungal spore lands on the plant, and, or yes, lands on the plant and on the pest mite, and it can help control them. Okay. Uh, another option in flower, if you're really careful uh -huh. about your application, is oils, uh -huh. agricultural oils. Okay. How would we apply those carefully? Uh, <laughs> by looking at the label, uh -huh. applying at a low rate and in temperatures that are below 90 degrees. Okay. Because high temperatures can cause burn, and so then you're further compromising the plant. Are any of these things going to be an issue if we have to have a crop tested for pesticides? Nope. I mean, you never know. You never know, but. And you never know with what state you're in, but PFR okay. 97 is approved in Oregon and Washington. Okay. Can't speak for Colorado because I can't remember. Okay. And then the predatory mites. Okay. So what, any difference if you're indoor with your crop and you're having the, the rest of mites? Well, with indoor, you can look at your propagation. You can look at the small production mm -hmm. uh, and the, the next, you can find success in your next crop cycle. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between indoor and outdoor. If you have all your eggs in one basket in outdoor, yeah. and you so have a hemp bad. russet mite infestation, then you have to work really hard on mitigating with sprays and beneficial insects. So you say if you're indoor, you trash it and move on? Depends on the infestation. Okay. Or you talk to somebody like me, okay. or, or your, your, your people at, at Constant Gardener, and they can you can discuss where you're at and then kind of fine tune it accordingly. So if they want to talk to you, how do they get a hold of you? Um, I can share my number with you. Okay. All right yep. then. And um, next year, mm -hmm. avoiding this has got to be easier than dealing with it. I would think. Yeah. How do we do that? Just very, you know, quickly. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. there's there's We're about there's about three or four things you can do. Uh, Hemp russet mite overwinter in the soil. Uh, so there's a predatory mite called Stradiolalaps that you can release in the soil, uh, and that will will consume the overwintering hemp russet mite. Okay. And then you can release beneficial insects early uh -huh. and spray preventative, preventatively at least on a weekly basis. Okay, so getting an early start with that so that we never get the infestation or if we do that it's very, very Yeah, and then, and then you can do things like uh, dip cuttings in an approved pesticide. Oh, okay. So that you're getting, so you've got your mother plants, focus on your mother plants too. Okay. A lot of the growers that are on a larger scale mm -hmm. keep their mother plants as pristine as possible. Sure. With beneficial insects and with approved products. Okay. Thanks for uh, thanks yeah, for talking easy, with us. Yeah, that's easy, right? <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. So if you need to get a hold of Mariah or you got questions for us, you can go to her website, mlachapelle.com. There's a, 
a link in the comments or connect with us on the Facebook or just call one of the stores. If you go to our website, ocgfam.com, uh, you'll see how to get in touch with us. So that's that. That's the show, except for, uh, let's see what we got going on. Tuesday, Spartan Regimen. Where is that? Nectar for the Gods. Nectar for the Gods Spartan Regiment. We went through this uh, the other day. We went through the top of it. We got down to the notes, and I said we're going to talk about uh, start with good soil and when in doubt, flush it out. But you know what? I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Mostly, Scott's going to be here. Scott Ostrander, the big guy from Nectar for the Gods. He's going to be here, and uh, he's going to give us his little take on that, tell us what he thinks, and then we're also going to do a hands-on type demonstration. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Spare Bedroom Garden. Jake? Jake, are you coming down? I don't know if Jake's coming, but we got a lot of stuff uh, starts that we're ready to move into a little bigger pot. So that should be exciting. We'll do that. Thursday in the Pro Grow Room. Uh, it's integrated pest management. Since I was up there with Mariah, I talked to her a little about that, about what you do when you start a grow room. So we're going to do that on Thursday. I'll do some hands-on stuff in the room too. And then Friday, it's a Mariah LaChapelle week. We're going to have a, a extended hanging out, talking with her about pest control, about growing, about all kinds of fun stuff, even a little bit about growing wine. It's going to be cool. So it's going to be a good week. Uh, that's that. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you on Monday.